Greetings, it is Maxo Diddley here, and today I am here with another Java tutorial to help you get an A in your coursework or exam. And today we're here with validating the password part 4. And in this tutorial, we're going to go over checking if a password contains a certain word. And what we'll be able to do is we can check if the password contains a certain word, meaning if it contains a certain word, it's valid. If it doesn't contain this word, it's going to be invalid, and vice versa. And we can do it for case sensitive or non case sensitive. So let's get right into it. Firstly, in our main method, we've got string password equals password. Then we've got system dot print line contains word password Jeff false and true. We're just calling our contains word function. This is going to make sense after you've watched this tutorial. So let's go right into our little method. So we've got a public static boolean here. And it's going to be called contains word. We've got our first parameter string and it's called password. This is the password we want to validate. Then we've got string word. This is the word we want to check if it exists or doesn't exist in the password. Then we've got bool present. Do we want this word to exist or to not exist in the password to make it valid? And then we've got boolean case sensitive. Do we want to check for a case sensitive match? An example could be, let's say we're checking if the word Jeff is in the password, but we want to ensure there's an uppercase J in our check, then we would make this a true. And then let's say we wanted to look for Jeff with an uppercase J, but there was Jeff with a lowercase J in the password, there would be no match because the J's aren't the same case, if that makes sense. The first thing we want to do is we're going to do an if statement. We're going to do if not case sensitive. So we're going to do a little bit of code. If we don't care about the casing of, of our check. So we want to conduct a case insensitive check. And we're going to do have two lines in here. We're going to do password equals password dot two uppercase and word equals words dot two uppercase. So essentially we're going to be converting everything in the password for this check and the word we want to check exists or doesn't exist in the password to uppercase and the reason being is if everything's converted to an uppercase then it's kind of like even in the playing field as in all the uppercases remain uppercase but all of the lowercases become uppercase and that basically means everything is the same now there's no casing in the words we're trying to check because if everything is the same case, casing doesn't matter anymore. I, I think I explained that really poorly, but that's how I think about this. But basically, this is what we want to do if we want to check for a case insensitive match. After that, we want to do an if-else statement. So we're going to do if present return password dot contains word else return not password dot contains word basically password dot contains word uh, we're calling a string function here and it returns a true if the string contains a particular word or phrase or character sequence we're trying to check and returns a false if it can't find it so if we're checking for it to be present we can check for it to be true if we want it to not be there for it to be a valid password, we just put an exclamation mark if we don't want it to be present. So we can reverse the true. And that's it for this tutorial. So we're going to test it out in a few scenarios. Firstly, we're going to do, we're going to pa validate our password and we're going to pass in Jeff, meaning we want to check that Jeff isn't present. And it's also going to be case sensitive. Let's hit play and see what happens. It returns a true. Why? Because Jeff doesn't exist in the password. Now let's change this to pass. We want a part, the word pass to not be present. But we're going to do an uppercase pass. So if the password has an uppercase pass, we don't, then it's valid. Otherwise it's invalid. It returns a true because while password has the phrase pass in it, we only want an uppercase P for our pass to make it invalid. 
But let's say we pass in a lowercase p for pass. Then it becomes false because there's clearly a pass in there. Now let's change this to true. So we need to have the phrase pass in our password to make it valid. Let's hit play, it returns true. But now we're going to put uppercase p. And since this is case sensitive, this is going to return a false. Because while we have a pass in our password, it's an uppercase p at the start, and we need a lowercase p. But let's say we change the case sensitive to false. It becomes true again, because that phrase exists in the password when we don't care about cases. Now let's just type some gobbledygook in there. And it's false as well. And that's it for this tutorial. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed. Be sure to subscribe if you want to see more Java tutorials to help you get an A in your course or exam. And thanks for being a great audience. I'll see you next time.